Welcome to Paul's Toolbox. I've got a cool tip for you guys. I um, I mess with epoxy and I love it. But what happens when you get a perfect piece that you're really happy with, like I did right here, and a darn bug flies in it and messes it up? The problem with sanding it and getting that out is, is trying to get that, that, that total luster back. I went out and bought 2,000 grit wet sandpaper and 3,000 grit wet sandpaper. And then I bought my pads for polishing. My other ones were bad, so I went out and bought new ones and I forgot how much more expensive they were. I bought them at a local place, but well worth the money. These are $25 a piece. I used three of them for this. One is white, it's a compound pad. The other is black, it's a polishing pad. And then for fine polishing, you have your blue. This 3M polish is the key. I'm gonna take this bug out of here and I may have to go down to 1500 grit. Not a big deal if I do. I'm gonna try 2000 first with some wet sandpaper and then I'll go from there. The only problem with this is I haven't tested it out on a freshly poured piece. I poured this a few days ago. The epoxy from Stone Coat is excellent stuff. It can handle extreme temperatures. You can take a hot pot and put on this, but you need to do that after 30 days because that's the hardest it's gonna be. It fully cures in 30 days. Well, this piece right here is fully cured. I'm gonna show you on this one how to get that deep luster back. And then I'm gonna do this piece, and this is an experiment because like I said, this has only been drying for a couple of days. Uh, if this works right away, I'm gonna really be happy. I'm gonna start off with the 2000. I wanna put a little bit of a mist on here, not a lot. Just a little bit of water, you don't need a lot. I can turn this up a little more because it's sanding. That's it. We'll wipe it off. See how it dulled it out. I had a little imperfection there, so we'll go ahead and sand that out. Tiny low spot. So you can get your imperfections out of here. All right. Take my 2000 off. I'll clean that pad off, it dried a little bit off. You wanna save these, they last longer, you can clean it off, they're made to go in water. So you can clean it off, put it back in your bag. So now I'll take my 3000, same thing, put that on. Spritz it a little bit. You don't want to get crazy on the edges because you can cut through this. It's going to be thinner on the edges. So you just want to get this top hit, hit right off the edge, but don't stay on those edges. All right. I'm going to wipe it clean. I'm going to start off with the white, which is for compounding. So we'll take the polisher. Set it on a little past three, which is about 1700 RPMs. I could put it on three, it'll be 1500. In fact, uh, I'll just leave it on three. I'm gonna polish it till it dries up real quick. And only take a minute. Okay, 
We're gonna do that twice. See how it's nice and dry? Put a little bit more. We'll do it one more time. You can see already, starting to get a little bit of luster on there, and that's just the compound. Take my polishing pad, and the number two is a polish. Don't need much. Just swirl it around. Make sure you cover everything. When it starts to dry, you can feel the resistance. We're gonna take the blue pad. And then on again, I can see already. This is really coming out good. It's be perfect. That's all I need. I didn't need to go crazy with it. This is the side that was polished, and this wasn't. You can't even tell. Look at that. Beautiful top and I got a stupid bug in there. We'll spritz the whole table and we'll run a quick pass on the whole thing first. Turn this baby up. I had to get it a little bit dry to get down in there because I'm having to dig a little bit. He's in there. But uh, we'll get it in a second, then I'll start feathering it out. I can feel a tiny bit on there. We'll go down to 1,000. was easy and it's gonna save you a lot of time and money the reason why you're not gonna be wasting money buying new products when you make a mistake to, to replace it you're gonna be able to sand this down and fix it imperfections are easy to fix I'm gonna show you a lot more uh, tips and tricks down down <laughs> I'm gonna share a lot more tips and tricks on the American Builders channel because I am now gonna be a regular guest on his show so you want to check it out Brian Gurry, the American Builder, and Paul's Toolbox. We're coming together and we're gonna have a lot more tips for you guys. Now, I wanna help somebody to get started on this. So we're gonna have a giveaway. If you drop a comment on me, you will be added to a contest and we're gonna be giving away a porter cable sander polisher so you can start things off yourself. Also, if you go to this channel right here, the American Builder, you subscribe to him and drop a comment. You'll also be added for another giveaway. We're going to give away one on my channel and one on his because we're combining channels. And we're going to have a lot more tips down the pipe for you guys. If you don't mind, please hit like for me. I'll see you guys later.